Do you remember back when Starbound was good? Or at least when it had the potential to be good? Back in the beta days when it truly felt like an open-ended sandbox and not like some cluster of mismatched mechanics thrown in with a terrible storyline that basically just made you space Jesus? Yeah, me neither. That was fucking ages ago. Well, fast forward the current year and out of the cesspit that is modern game development comes a rather promising looking title that looks pretty similar to another 2D sandbox game, but I uh, can't quite put my finger on it. The game I'm talking about is Outworld, or an upcoming title from Igloo Soft Games that looks like it could fill that empty void of wasted potential that was left behind by Starbound. Now, it's important to note that the game is currently still in an early alpha state, so sure, the footage you see in the background might look a little janky at times, but this is far from the finished state of the game. The game isn't even in early access yet, so it won't be getting the typical review treatment. This is more of a first impressions video, something I haven't really done before. And I'd also like to point out that this is not a sponsored video. The good people at Igloosoft did reach out to me and invite me to the alpha playtest, and I'm very thankful that they did. However, they did not ask me to make this video, and I'm not being compensated for it in any way. I'm making this video because I want to. This is simply a game that I'm very interested in and plan to be making follow-up videos in the future for it as well. So, without any further ado, here are my first impressions of Outworlder. Now, although I am hoping to tout this game as a right proper Starbound killer, it's important to mention that they're not going to be exactly the same game, which is definitely a good thing. Outworlder is much more focused on the base building side of the game, something that was severely underwhelming in Starbound, and this personally appeals to me a lot. I always find myself building up a base or settlement in any game that lets me, even if it's not the focal point of the game. The game is quite centralized around building up your little space colony, allowing you to also recruit new people of varying professions to help you expand your workflow and unlock new technologies and gear to progress further into the game. And you also can't just go it alone, you're not an automatic master of every profession and there are certain tasks you'll need certain people for. A scientist to do research and make sciencey stuff, and an engineer to make machines and guns and whatnot. I also really like that you can get useless NPCs that have no applicable skills and just kinda take up space and eat your food. I think that makes a lot of sense. In reality, when humanity is scattered across the cosmos in a heartbeat, there'll be a lot of useless assholes out there. Like people who make shitty YouTube videos on the internet. I do hope that eventually there is some kind of skill gain system, however, and that perhaps those useless assholes could eventually become somewhat proficient at something, and perhaps that other qualified colonists could branch out their skill set as well. I'd also like to see some personality variants with them, something Rimworld or Dwarf Fortress-esque where colonists will have individual traits that influence their day-to-day -day lives and how they interact with one another. It can only make these kinds of games spicier and add to the replay value and storytelling potential. I really like the idea of eventually having fully self-sufficient colonies that are run by NPCs who can grow their own food, make their own gear, and defend their own walls. Especially with the addition of spacefaring and additional planets that'll allow you to spread the network of your colonies across the galaxy, establishing supply lines and building your own little space empire. It's yet to be implemented, but it'd be great to have some kind of UI to set orders remotely for your colony, perhaps through something like a radio tower or beacon that you'd have to make first, so you can manage your colony without needing to physically be there and interact with all the different workstations, especially once you can start planet hopping. Exploration is always going to be a big part of these games, especially when it's in a sandbox setting, but I think that for a game with a heavy emphasis on base building, the most interesting parts of the world should be those influenced and shaped by you not by some random algorithm. And there are no plans for any kind of storyline in this game either, which should be a no-brainer. It feels like one of those games where the story and experience is best left to being emergent through how the gameplay unfolds, leading to a different experience every time you jump back in. There's also already a RimWorld-like starting scenario and gameplay curve setting for each world you generate, which does wonders for emergent narratives and replayability. I'm kind of envisioning a space age spore-like gameplay, only one that doesn't suck major balls, with other collectives and micro-states to interact with for trade or conflict. I'd much prefer to see a focus on the base building and management side of the game, with exploration alongside of it. And I think that the game has a massive amount of potential to be a really fun and interactive colony management sim with a couple of RTS elements along with it. 
Outworlder definitely has a focus on ranged combat, fighting off raiders and wildlife with guns and turrets, and even in its current state, I'm really liking the firearms that are available. The gunplay feels really smooth, heavier guns like LMGs and shotguns feel like they have some weight to them, and even the reload animations are cool as hell. I think it's best for them to focus on this as I think that firearms are typically more expected in a futuristic setting and if they half ass the melee combat it'll just end up clunky like Starbounds. And I'm certainly looking forward to some big old 2D firefights in the future. Another feature that's really neat is the ledge grab mechanic where you'll grab the edge of blocks that you can't quite jump up and over. It adds a lot to the platforming and map traversal and can only be embellished later with other things like jetpacks or grapple hooks. Much like other games in its genre, it has that same creative potential that you get with a world made of blocks that allows you to malleate it into any form you want. I found the building mechanics to be very akin to games like Starbound and Terraria, and hope to see plenty more different kinds of materials to play around with later on. One feature I'm really looking forward to, however, is the planned Z-plane doors, meaning that you'll be able to essentially create rooms on a separate plane to the overworld, much like an old school RPG. This would add a huge amount of creative potential and would also create far more usable space, especially for a game only set in two dimensions. I can already imagine making big long corridors with all the dormitories for my colonists branching off from it. It's probably one of the mechanics I'm looking forward to the most. I know it's still in its early stages now, but Outworlder is definitely a project that I can get behind. It looks like it's shaping up to be everything that I was personally hoping Starbound would be. Even in its current state, it's showing good signs. It already has the makings of a cool ass synth heavy soundtrack to go along with it, and the overall visual design is looking good too. And it seems that the devs have a clear idea of what they want for the game, as well as willing to be open with the community and get feedback even in the earlier stages of its development. I hope that they focus more on its building and colony sim mechanics rather than just trying to do a little bit of everything and ending up with a bunch of half-baked ideas and a lot of wasted potential. And I have to remember not to get ahead of myself either, because it still has a long way to go. Regardless, I'll be keeping a very close eye on its development and if you're interested as well, I encourage you to check out the alpha playtest on Steam. Just don't go in expecting a game to spend a heap of time in just yet. In its current state, it has the potential to be one of my favourite games, but so did another certain 2D space game. Will it turn into a Starbound, or will it turn into a Factorio? Who knows? As long as it doesn't turn into a Cube World, I don't think I could take another of those.